Welcome to our Energy Connect studio at Adipec 2022. It's a great pleasure to have sitting next to me, Lorenzo Samarelli, CEO of Baker Hughes. Thank you so much for giving me your time today. Great to be here. And good to see you again since Egypt was our last one. Um, how can technology help solve the energy trilemma? <laughs> Big Look question. at the heart of it, uh, really technology is an enabler. And when we think about um, the trilemma, affordability, sustainability and security, we've got to go back to the principle of we need energy abundance, yeah. we need it to be cleaner for the environment and we need it to be secure. And technology is a foundation for that. I look at the ability of what Baker Hughes does as an energy technology mm -hmm. company. We enable the extraction of hydrocarbons, we enable it to be more efficient with the technology that we apply into oil field services and equipment. Also, as we look at natural gas and the liquefaction of natural yep. gas into LNG, again, the compression, liquefaction trains, the pumps, the valves. Then as you look at the energy mix evolving and really focused yep. on CCUS and how we've got new technologies and different processes with regards to the capture of carbon, as well as the elimination of methane leaks and the reuse of CO2 from a circular economy perspective, and last but not least, hydrogen. The ability to use hydrogen in gas turbines and have gas turbines that are 100% hydrogen making electricity. Yeah. And also, as you look at the hydrogen economy, being able to have our compression and the usage of hydrogen going forward. So I think technology is a huge enabler yeah. and it's one of the key pillars in addition to the right regulation, the right partnerships that is going to enable us really to proceed with the energy transition. And as part of the energy transition and the energy going forward, what do you see as the role of hydrocarbons? Look, I think it's clear that hydrocarbons are here to stay. Yeah. And I think uh, it's become very real that we're going to be using hydrocarbons for uh, multiple years and decades ahead. And it's because there's a need for the energy mix and an abundance of energy. Now, what we've got to focus on is not so much the fuel source, but the emissions. Yeah. And all fuel sources are good, including hydrocarbons. And let's focus on bringing down the emissions. Overall, the energy mix is something that is important across renewables, hydrocarbons, nuclear, and we shouldn't say no to any type of fuel source. And have you seen the messaging changing, especially you mentioned there about methane, you know, reducing methane net emissions, you know, a lot of initiatives. There was a report launched today by the UN, but I, I've been to all these shows and the industry. You, you, there's, a, there's a shift in dialogue and actually it sounds like action being taken. Yes, there is. And I think uh, a lot's been done by the industry itself and uh, the methane pledges that have been made. And we know how to do this. And I think that's the optimistic view is that when we get together, we have the right collaboration. Yeah. At Baker Hughes, we always say, you know, there's three truths. The first truth is there is no doubt that climate change is a reality mm -hmm. and that we've got to confront it. Secondly, hydrocarbons are here to stay and we've got to focus on the emissions, not the fuel source. And thirdly, that it's going to be done by collaboration and partnerships yeah. and bringing together the stakeholders. You know, everyone is talking about reaching net zero, but what are you doing as big use of your customers and partners to help reach a shared ambition? You know, we're in a great position as an energy technology company in that we enable not just our own net yep. zero pledge that we launched mm -hmm. in 2019, but we also enable the net zero pledge to be achieved by our customers across industries. Mm -hmm. And so we're deploying technology capability to drive efficiencies in operations today yeah. and also provide the new energy mix for the future. You mentioned there about your own sustainability progress. Um, what victories have you achieved this year and what are you looking to get, get next year? I'm pleased to say that since 2019, when we started reporting yep. on it, we've been able to reduce our own emissions and we continue to look at ways in which we can reutilize uh, the energy, yep. change the sources of energy. Uh, we've recently gone to a, a renewables contract for mm -hmm. a number of our manufacturing locations and we've got a playbook of different ideas that we implement on a annual basis so that we keep on making the continuation of progress towards our net zero pledge. Great, thanks Lorenzo. And obviously just finally we're here at Adipec. Um, been a really busy first day. How's it gone for you? It's gone very well. I think uh, the discussion is right on point 
I think the reality, the pragmatism, and people understanding the complexity of the energy trilemma. Yeah. And we've got to solve this ourselves. And that's why the dialogues that we're having here are very important as we get ready for COP27 and also as we get ready for COP28 yep. in Abu Dhabi next year. Absolutely. Well, we'll be here for that. And I just want to thank you again for popping by the Energy Connect studio. Thank you very much. Great to see you.